Hey everyone, this is Christy, Salty Stitcher Designs. I'm back for another floss tube video. It is floss tube number 52. Uh, and I am in my new space finally. I'm so excited. Uh, as you can see, I have the wall behind me of finishes and uh, my designs. And uh, hopefully I'll give you a tour uh, of that next. But in this episode, uh, number 52, uh, I am doing a whip parade. Um, and I'm so excited. We're going to take it step by step. I have 21 whips to show you. And uh, yeah, we'll get started. Um, I have my favorite mug with me, my Margaritaville mug. I also have some spiced tea, orange and spiced tea in it. So uh, we're going to be sipping on that occasionally and uh, moving forward. So Let's go. Whip parade. So the first whips that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to do them in batches here just so uh, I can stay organized. Uh, we're going to go with the holidays because we just finished up Christmas, New Year's, um, and I have two holiday whips that I wanted to show you. Uh, the first whip is Todd and Margot, and that is from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And if you know, you know, uh, I won't explain the entire movie. Um, I found this, uh, uh, let's see, copyright Beverly Ellis. Um, it's a 2021 pattern, found it on Etsy. I'm doing pretty basic uh, stitching here. I'm stitching it on, it looks like some 14 count Ada. And I'm using uh, red and green Diamant, uh, DMC Diamant. For both. So we have a little bit of a start. I love how it's coming out. I think I might be using too many threads, maybe two threads or three threads. Anyway, I, I like the bold look. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. I like the bold look and you can see the sparkle. So uh, that is going to be fun uh, to finish up. So that is the first whip and I really just need to get these done. This I should have brought this on the plane with me. This is easy stitching. Don't even need glasses for it. Yeah, we should we should just figure that out and get that done. That should be a finish this year. Uh, second whip is the tiny modernist. The stockings were hung. It was a Sal, maybe Christmas 2023, 2022. There are four parts, four parts Sal, excuse me. Um, and I am stitching this on an opalescent even weave. I don't know who it's from. I apologize, but I've got my nice Bernie Sanders needle minder there. Uh, and I, I have all four parts, so I'm just uh, stitching what I feel like uh, stitching on this, not in any particular order. And I'm using the called for Classic Color Works and Weeks Dye Works thread packs. I just went ahead and got, got the entire sal. I, I think uh, this fabric came with it and, and the thread packs. So that's where I am right now. I love how it's coming out. I just, uh, you know, didn't get to it this year. Um, stitching one over two, two threads and it is housed in this uh, lovely uh, Creative Carol Designs bag. <laughs> and uh, I think I was taking this to Florida once upon a time. So the flamingos with the Santa hat, I just love that. Okay, so moving on to the next batch. Okay, the next chart I have is uh, Dr. Maya Angelou. This is my own design. And uh, this is from 2021. And some of you know the story behind this. The original design is right up there on the wall, center stage. Uh, so I finished that design, stitched it, sent it to uh, Dr. Maya Angelou's um, copyright folks. And they said, hey, love it, want to work with you, but we want to adjust the quote. So I'm like, okay, probably should have done this step first. Um, but I accept your feedback and I'm going to change the pattern. So I went ahead and changed the pattern, uh, but that means uh, that meant I needed to do another model stitch. Uh, so I am still working on the second version of Dr. Maya Angelou. And 
I am stitching it on a Mountain Air fabric colorway buckskin. And I'm using the General Art Sampler uh, threads called for in the pattern. Now I do have a DMC conversion. Um, and it is housed, oh, here are the threads. Nice, bright, vibrant. And it's housed in a beautiful So Much to Love bag. So that is Dr. Maya Angelou. And this should be a finish this year as well. Uh, my next whip is Coast Guard Home. Let's see, there we go, Coast Guard Home. Home is where the Coast Guard sends you. Stitch count, you can see 140 by 93, 11 DMC uh, colors. Uh, this is on, I believe this looks like an under the sea fabric. I only have a few stitches up here in the corner, so not much to show you. Um, but it's a pretty small pattern and I'm hoping to finish this one up as well. I stitched its uh, sister pattern called Navy, uh, Navy Home. Uh, but unfortunately, I was not able to renew the uh, copyright uh, for this year, so that pattern is out of print. Uh, there still might be some hanging around at your local needle workshops, um, but uh, but yeah, you can you can go ahead and ask. But that one is out of print, uh, and this one is housed in a Creative Carol Designs bag with the vinyl cover, uh, which I absolutely love. Yep, so those are the two whips. Okay, the next two whips, I have Praiseworthy Stitches, Simple Gifts, Courage. And this was uh, a salve for Pam or anyone um, uh, who has suffered, survived, been uh, impacted by cancer. Uh, and I am stitching this using all Gloriana poinsettia threads. Oh, this is not, it's a little bit deeper than what's showing up on the camera. The light is blowing it out a little bit, but it's a nice uh, deep red. And I have, uh, I don't know, about 25 stitches in it. So a modest start. I started this um, at StitchCon uh, this past year. And it was on the last day, I decided to throw a uh, few stitches in. Um, so it's beautiful. I love the pattern. Um, just haven't given it uh, as much love as I wanted to. Uh, it is in this beautiful uh, Tennessee bag. And forgive me, I forget who um, made this particular bag, um, but uh, there are a number of states running around and then that is the uh, the front of it, so. Okay, next whip, I have O Feathers. And this is by uh, Rosewood Manor, by Karen. I am stitching this on Zweigart Vintage Blue, Whisper Linen, uh, it's 32 count. I'm stitching um, two threads, or actually no, I'm using Sulky, so I'm using one thread over two. And this is the called for uh, sulky thread pack for O feathers. And I have it back here. So I am not quite halfway, but I'm almost there. So I um, I'm really enjoying uh, this stitch. Just need to uh, you know like the others get on it. And this border down here at the bottom is a lot of fun. Yep, also showing my uh, Garon Stitchery uh, needle minder, or Garon Tote Bags uh, needle minder. Uh, those bags are amazing. Um, and okay, we'll move on to the next one. The next chart I have is Ink Circles, Big Red Ship of Life. Um, I am choosing to stitch this using three colors. Uh, all silks for you, Hanks. And I have all of the ships uh, in the Ink Circles fleet uh, that I hope to stitch uh, using the using those uh, same colors. Um, it is so silks for you. It is on a 
So I got 40 count linen, and this is how far I am. So I've already started to see, uh, put in a little bit of the gold. There's, of course, the red and uh, the blue waves. So I love how this is coming along and hope to give it a little bit more uh, love this year. Uh, it is housed in a, this is in a So Much to Love, another cat bag. So cute. Okay, next, uh, next pattern is Salute to Abigail. So this pattern uh, was in the, just going to refer to my notes, the Sweet Land of Liberty book, um, and it's by Blackbird Designs. And I've chosen to stitch it on Fortnite Fabrics 32 Count Plastic Flamingo. And I'm also using Silks For You, Silks For You threads. So two colors of blue, white, and, and a red. And I think it's coming out amazingly well. I do love the love this pattern. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this is also in a so much to love um, bag, red, white, and bloom, um, which is very apropos for the type of uh, design. Okay, so this next bag, this was a fun one to open, and I found <laughs> three mermaid patterns in it. Uh, so I opened the mermaid bag. Um, uh, so surprise, we are up to 21, 22, 23 whips. Um, the first one is a Bella Filipina, and uh, this one is Mermaid Treasures. There we go. There we go. Mermaid Treasures. Um, I'm stitching this on an opalescent Lugana 32, and it's uh, 32 count, and it's hand dyed uh, by Rolanda. So I don't want to show you the pattern there. And so far, I think this is the right. I think we're like this. There we go. There, now we're getting it right. Yep. So that's how far I've gotten on this whip. Um, I love the purples, um, and I love this fabric, uh, so definitely um, going to keep stitching on this one, and that's in the uh, Found in the Mermaid bag. The second pattern found in the Mermaid bag is uh, the Mermaid of Salem Bay, and this is by the Primitive Hair. And I'll, uh, yeah, there we go. Now you've got to get a good look. Uh, so it's beads and uh, threads. And this is a special primitive hair fabric. It is a 30 count fabric. And she's coming out very nicely. Uh, so I remember starting this pattern when I first um, shifted from Ada to linen. So at first it was pretty intimidating. Um, but now that I look back at it, it looks like it's going to be a uh, a pretty fun and uh, easy stitch to finish. So definitely going to keep in the rotation. And then the third mermaid pattern that I found was the Cosmic Mermaid, also primitive uh, hair. And um, for this fabric, this is uh, Fortnite Fabric Alfred. I'm stitching it with the called for DM DMC colors. And this is how far I've gotten on her so far. So she's coming along very nicely as well. Uh, so that was the mermaid bag. <laughs> um, and didn't realize I had that many mermaids or fancy pretty ladies going. Um, but alas, I do, and they're all in one bag. Uh, and the next pattern I wanted to show you was Autumn Quakers by Rosewood Manor. And I think I have the other Quakers, um, but I have started this one. I'm using the Called Vor Valdani, Valdani threads. They're absolutely gorgeous. And this is how far I've gotten so far. So I like to do the border first and fix any uh, problems. If the border is right, the rest of the pattern will be right. At least that's my, that is my theory. So that is Autumn, Autumn Quakers. 
And this lady needs no introduction, or very little, and this pattern needs no introduction. It's the Mirabilia Lady of the Flag. You can see um, up here it was uh, originally $12. Um, yeah, you can't find that for $12 anymore. Um, but here is my fabulous lady. I am uh, doing the blue conversion on her, and I also changed her hair to uh, brown. I, I think I left her skin the same, but um, changed her hair to a brown color, and... Um, her uh, dress there is going to be blue. So she is coming along nicely. I, f I believe I finished the flag down here. There might be a little bit more. And uh, then I started working on her arm and face. And then uh, we'll finish working on her dress and, and start moving down. But um, she is coming along. I should have finished her long ago. But um, uh, it, it's a pretty... Those of you who have worked on it, it's a pretty tough pattern and um, a lot of color changes. Uh, there are beads, um, and this is also the called for fabric. I think it's either 28 or 30 count fabric, so I'm stitching it over two, two over two. That's where I am so far on Lady of the Flag. Um, Lady of the Flag is out of print. Uh, uh, but you can find it on a uh, few copies on eBay, but they run around $200, maybe a little bit more. Um, yeah, so if you want to stitch Lady of the Flag, best of luck finding a copy. Uh, my next chart is Cardinal Points by uh, Julia from Long Dog Samplers. I think a few people, if you've been to StitchCon recently, a few people... Um, have finished this. Uh, Pam of Pam and Steph, Just Keep Stitching, uh, is one of them. Uh, her stitching is absolutely beautiful. Um, I've had this kitted up for a little while, a couple years, and decided to go ahead and stitch it. I'm using uh, the General Art, I think believe it's called for General, General Art threads, which look stunning. And this is how far I've gotten so far, so I'm on the, there we go. I've done the corner, I, I probably will try and finish, finish the border up first and then start um, filling in. So I have two full coverage pieces in progress right now. These are my own designs. Uh, the first one is the Great White African Pelican, um, 110 DMC colors. Uh, the picture is Gorgeous. I took that in um, South Africa while we were on a, a trip there, and I need to make more progress on, on this, but this is how far I've gotten. I'm stitching it on a 28 count easy guide, one over one, and using the DMC threads. Oh, there, that's a better. There, that's a better one with the light. Um, so I am up on top, work in the horizon, and I'm just about ready to start hitting the pelican's head. There. And then uh, the second full coverage one that I have in progress is Diver in Buddha. So um, a friend took this picture while diving in Hawaii, and there's a Buddha that sits right at about, I don't know, 25, 30 feet. And I ran it through a filter, made it kind of somewhat a watercolor, uh, cleaned it up a little bit. And this is how far I am. So I, I've made it to both corners. I started top right, then went back top left. And I'm uh, using Pattern Keeper, so I'm able to undo some extreme cross country. And the way I stitch all of my full coverages is I will start in uh, the corner right here, and I will pick the one color in the top left and then use a thread, and then go to the next corner, use a thread, go to the next corner, use a thread, um, all changing colors if, if needed. Um, and I will stitch that color until I run out of the thread and then go back up to the corner and start moving across. Um, so again, not, a, not afraid to break all of my rules. You can see I've gone pretty much extreme cross country all the way across. Um, 
This is the diver right here, the outline of the diver, which is which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm uh, I'm really excited about this pattern. This is fun. Um, this is going to be a gift. Uh, so labor, definitely a labor of love. Uh, this one is on 25 count uh, Easy Guide uh, fabric, I, which you know, since you're doing full coverage anyway, I think it's essential. It, it helps unless you like to grid your own. And I forgot to mention that the diver uh, lives in a, a Lynn Cross Stitch Creates um, bag, uh, which absolutely beautiful. I believe I bought this um, particular one at StitchCon this past year. And the next pattern is Old Vine. This is uh, going to be a new release, so you're getting a sneak peek um, at the pattern if you made it this far in the video. Um, and this is one of my whips. I've, um, I'm stitching it on Forbidden Fibers Frozen 36 count with DMC threads. And this is it so far. So again, getting a sneak peek at a new design to be released uh, a little bit later uh, in the spring. Again, that's Old Vine and that's uh, my own design. And uh, the next whip that I have is uh, Ink Circles Star of Sumatra. This was recently uh, released uh, uh, maybe in 2023, early 2023 at Nashville Needlework Market. Um, I really do love this pattern. The colors aren't uh, shown up too well, but I am using the called for uh, Gloriana Silk thread pack that came with it. And that was in, uh, let's see, the colorway was Royal Plum Light. Uh, so you can see the uh, um, just beautiful colors. And I'm stitching it on under the sea. Oh wow, everything's sticking together. Uh, and under the sea fabric, and uh, let's see, it's a 40 count tiramisu. Uh, so it's coming out nicely, and I do love stitching it. And let's put this, my Outlander needle minder came off, put that back on. All right, perfect. All right, and if you made it this long in the video, you're gonna see two more sneak peeks of new designs. Uh, the first one is my Parrot. Um, and this is the complete design, although I haven't decided whether to put uh, the text in there yet. Um, so it is an outline of a beautiful Parrot. Uh, starts green, then fades to blue, then fades uh, to red. I'm using beautiful silks for you. Silks for you colors. Uh, there, uh, yeah, there we go. There's the blue, the green, and the red color. Um, and I'm gonna leave this on the uh, Q snap. It is a sneak peek, and I'm actively stitching it. Um, but here's the parrot. I finally made it down uh, to to the red. Um, and I do not recall uh, what linen this is, but I believe it is. Um, 40 count uh, linen and everything is sticking together here uh, so that's your sneak peek of my parrot and then the next uh, sneak peek is on the reef uh, well I guess this is not a sneak peek because this has been in my shop for a few months now uh, but this is on the reef I'm stitching it on a under the sea fabric, London fog, um, 40 count, uh, but I recommend you use 36 just because it's easier. Um, I just like uh, 40 count. Using DMC threads, here are the threads. They're beautiful, beautiful threads. I'm having a really uh, fun time with them, and this is where I am so far. So I'm almost done. I'm gonna leave it on the um, leave it on the frame because I'm gonna try and finish that coral tonight and start the next one. Yeah, so having a lot of fun uh, with this pattern. Um, so that's it, those are my whips. Um, I may have gotten the count a little bit off. I'll, I'll put it uh, in the notes section. All of my patterns, the links to the patterns, uh, uh, any notes, fabric, thread, 
bags. I will try and put all the information uh, in the notes section. So uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And uh, those are my whips and hopefully we can get a bunch of finishes in 2024. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Do you know how hard it is to film a Floss 2 video with you in the way, Miss Sonia? Miss Sonia, you're a pretty girl, but my productivity is going way down. Yes, it is.